Robbins and we are going to do a bench and band workout today. All you need is a resistance band as well as a bench or a chair or a step that you can sit on um, during this workout. So grab your water, grab your band and let's get started. This is good for any age and there's a monster truck. I'm actually at a monster truck show right now and so you're going to hear a lot of background noise. I believe that like no um, situation is perfect, right? So just get out there and do it. Don't wait for that perfect time. There's no excuses. You guys can do this at home. You can do this at the gym. You can do this anywhere, anytime that you want. So go ahead and grab that band and let's get started. I'm going to step touch and I'm going to press it out to the side. village is situated inside of the fairground. The original hand who beam building, tongue and groove, dog tailed, and peg. It's amazing. Some of them were built back in the 1800s and restored to put here on the fairground. It's a great historical site. It's pretty neat to walk around and read all the plaques on these buildings. Like I said, you can get out the background right here. Press. Now, if your band is too easy, you can go ahead and double it up. Remember, it's not the color band that matches your outfit, although mine does today. There are different thicknesses, different strengths, different resistance. You have to pick what's right for you. Okay, now bring it over. my bone. Come on, keep going. Woo! Do that in those shoulders. Now this is really, really good for posture. You don't want a frozen shoulder. I can tell you that right now. We've seen too many people suffer with that. If you quit using it, you're no longer going to be able to use it later on. down. So I'm going to get isometric with that tricep there. The other hand is going to lift out to the side, okay? Opposite leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one more. Great job. Okay, let's do the other side. Anchor down, squeeze that tricep, and lift. One, two. So we're getting deltoids or your shoulders. Three. We're getting hips and thighs. A little bit of those glutes in there. All in one exercise. Keep your abs pulled in. 
eight more. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now take that band, bring it across the body, push down, we're gonna lift knee and opposite arm. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's work on that balance. Six. Work on that lower tummy. Eight more. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Okay, other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, switch sides. Now we're going to get into those obliques. We're going to pull down and lift the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. One, can you guys see behind me? Two, all these amazing buildings. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. Did you see me just wrap my hand and make it go harder? Yes. And me. Okay, now go shoulders. Okay, set your fan down, grab a sip of water, let's get onto our bench work. Stand nice and tall. Am I in here? I think I'm in here. Okay, we're going to tap the toe on top. Let's bring the opposite arm forward. Level one, you can stay right here. Level three, take it up.
it depends on where you want to be, how low you want to be. But I like to touch down each time because it gives me a visual of my form. So I know I'm going to touch down in this position, so I'm checking my knees to make sure they're at 90 degrees. I'm going to reach up. One, two, three. See a little touch down. Four, five, six. Now this is a functional fitness move because you know we need to get in and out of chairs, in and out of the car, and up and down off the toilet. So we used to do this every day anyways. So let's practice. Let's get strong. Now hold it over the top and hover. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great, 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 big breath in here. Okay, have a seat on your bench. We're gonna keep our spine close to the bench and we're gonna do some dips to the back of the arm. You never get too much pressure for it. Okay. Keep your hind end close to that bed. Abs pull in, chest is lifted, don't round out and drop down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Have a seat up on your back. We're going to take those wrists. Now we're going to work on the muscles that support the knee joint. So we're going to try and extend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you all see these huge bees that are flying around me? They're not happy down here next to their old good cabins that they want to burrow into. If I'm not mistaken though, I don't think that these ones are sting, I hope. And let's reach one. That would really make for a video, wouldn't it? Two. And reach three. Now, if you want to stay right here, you can. Four. And if you want a little more air work, get that twist in there. And eight more. And eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one more. Great job, right there. Sit up nice and tall, be both in. Exhale out, rotate to the side. Be both in. Exhale out, rotate to the side. Okay, let's stand up. We're going to stretch out those legs. So on to your bench or chair, drop it back, pull your toes up, reach for those toes. And take this to a diagonal stretch. Look over your open shoulder. Oh, they're just zooming. I bet you there's a hundred. Get going. And a hundred bees out here. <laughs> okay, and good. And good. Oh, they might like my lotion. Maybe that's what they're after. So this building behind me actually dates back to the 1800s. Up. Up. And like I said, it's handy beans. Some of the beans are twice as wide as I am. And switch. You need to support yourself, that's fine. And you. Okay, let's take the top. And round that back up. So draw your belly button in towards the spine. Push up. Exhale out. Walk back to slightly. And now press into those hip bones, pressing your hips back. Drop your head and chest, move. Side to side. 
You did a fantastic job. Whatever you are, whatever you could do, even if it's the smallest amount, it's going to add up over time. So feel free to modify, listen to your body, and I hope you enjoyed this workout, everyone. Bye, have a wonderful day.